Hi Sagittarius, this is Genevieve with Belladonna Moonbeams. How are y'all doing? This is the reading for the week of September 7, 2020 to September 13, 2020, and it's actually September 7th because I'm running a day behind because I was on holiday and today is a holiday. I just got back from St. Francisville, Louisiana and Jefferson, Texas. They're both awesome, awesome, awesome. I took a ride in a bottom, a flat bottom boat in the swamp, and that was so much fun. I learned history, and I got to see plants, and I got to do grounding. It was just amazing. So, as you know, while I was at the Myrtles down in St. Francisville, I opened this deck of cards. It's the Fiona Horns, The Magic of You Oracle deck, and I'm in love with it. So, I pulled a card for y'all. And this is the card of Orenda. Honor your mystical creative force. So what that means is that sometimes we are pushing down our creativity. We're not letting that creativity come forward, that mystical force come out. Part of it is just getting older and we're just not in tune with that any longer. Kids are really there. So we need to get in touch with our inner child this week. And that could mean doing something as simple as watching a kid's movie. When I watch Frozen, I allow that mystical child in me to come out. Everybody's going to find something a little bit different that will allow their inner child to come out. But it's okay this week to do that, whether it's going to a carnival or going to... Disney World, whatever it's going to take to make you allow that mystical, creative side of yourself to come out, just do it. You can do that and appreciate it and revel in it. I also pulled a card from Cheryl Richardson's self-care deck. Now, what's interesting about this deck is I bought this deck several years ago while I was in Hawaii with my daughter and her friend. And they love to go through a story. I, on the other hand, not so much. It just seems like a lot of work for not much. I know where to get what I want, and I just go do it. But they love it. I think they enjoy the search as much as anything else. I don't like to waste my time. So I got this deck while they were thrift storing, buying a ton of clothes. Those girls can find a thrift store on a... An island, because we were on the island of Hawaii. So, you know, and no, we were on the big island of Hawaii. That's not just be, me saying that. That really was where we were. So I pulled a card, and I got the independence card for y'all. This card says, you need to decide for yourself. You need to exercise your right to choose. And sometimes that's really tough. Sometimes it's easier to let other people choose for us. But once again, we have to acknowledge that when we're not choosing, then we are making a choice. And I know that seems like a contradiction. If I'm not going to choose, uh, well, you still make chose. For example, if you can't choose where to go eat for dinner, then you either starve, which is a choice, or you let your bestie choose, which is also a choice. But what I really hate when people do that is when they let someone else choose it and they complain about the food. They didn't like it or whatever. Well, you know, they need to get over themselves because if they didn't like it, then they should have spoke up in the first place. Just saying. They should have been the one making the choice. Otherwise, you lose your right to complain. Now, on tarot, the first card I get is a third, three of pentacles. So we're going to turn it right side up. And this card is all about getting the, um, getting the acknowledgement for your work. People are saying that you're a hard worker and that you do a good job. Maybe not as much as you like, which is why it was reversed. Or they're just now beginning to recognize that you have value at this job and you're doing a good job for it. On the flip side, we 
moving right along, we get the Knight of Pentacles. And the Knight is getting ready to start on a journey, on his career journey. But because it was reversed, he's doing the preparation, but he's not jumping out there yet. He's not starting to ride the horse into that journey. He's doing the prep work. Um, but you're being acknowledged even for that prep work. You're doing that pre-work that you need to do to get to the right place. And the King of Cups, this card is about emotions and about controlling them. Um, once again, it was reversed. So this card is saying that you need to take stock in your business and in your job and decide where to go from here. But you need to realize what it is you need to do. Because inherently, you know that. And that creativity and that mystical force inside of you can tell you what you need to do. And you have to decide for yourself. It's not, this isn't the time to let other people choose for you. You need to be making your own choices, Sedge. So this is Genevieve with Belladonna Moonbeams. If you want to do a private reading, it's 405-512-9400. Send me a text or go on my Facebook page, Belladonna Moonbeams, and send me a PM. If not, I'll see you in a few days. Have a good one.